you're just gonna sit here doing nothing. You know mom's gonna take quite a while, right? Yeah, I was just thinking about something. What's bothering you? There's this kid in school that's been getting bullied and the mean girl keeps on calling her names and picking on her. That sounds bad. Right? My friend Lillian and I wanted to report to the teacher, but my other friend Sarah tells me not to. Why? Because if I do and the bully finds out, she might bully me too. Hmm. Both your friends have very good points. Right. That's true, but who should I listen to? What's the truth? What's the truth? What's the truth? What's the truth? Oh, hi, friends. I'm Max. Did you hear what Joy was saying? That's a really tough choice, isn't it? Should she help her classmate who's getting bullied or protect herself by staying silent? Hmm, I wonder which she's going to pick. We'll find out soon, but first, let's sing a song together. This is a new one, but hopefully you'll be able to sing along by the end. Did you know that this Sunday is the Feast of the Holy Trinity? What is the Holy Trinity? Well, we know it's God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but it's a mystery exactly how these three different versions of God are combined into one. It's a mystery that our human minds will never figure out, because God is just so much bigger and more complicated than we could ever imagine. It's like how a tiny ant crawling on the ground could never understand the hugeness and vastness of our planet Earth. Now, even though we can't fully understand the mystery of the Holy Trinity, we can still celebrate that we have a loving Father in Heaven who sent His Son to redeem us and the Holy Spirit to help us and be with us forever. All right, now let's check in with Joy and see if she's managed to solve her problem. Why the gloomy look? Is it because of the bully thing again? 
I haven't done anything really because I don't really want to get bullied either. Hmm, that's not true. I mean, sometimes we should listen to our friends' advice, right? Sarah only wants to make sure that I don't get hurt. And on the other hand, Lillian is looking out for the girl that's getting bullied. Yeah, I realize that you've been struggling with this. So I actually asked someone really wise to record something for you. Here, take a look. Hello, Joy! <laughs> oh, hi, Joy. Good to see you. Hello, children! There are children there. Oh, hello, children. So, um, we're having this new show and it's so exciting to actually come on board and to um, do this show with everyone. Yeah, it's so exciting, right? But there's so many decisions to make. That is true. We're always having to make decisions just like Joy's decision. Yeah, Joy, I'm so sorry you have to go through this. You know the pain that they've got to go through of making the decision. And I think Joy needs us to share with her what we feel about it. Yeah, uh, well, Joy is thinking whether she should keep silent so that she'll protect herself or she should speak out for the innocent. That's right. And in this week's gospel, we hear in the gospel that the Holy Spirit it's the spirit of truth. That's right, it's the spirit of truth. Not only that, he will lead you to the complete truth. And yes, that's the complete truth. And God is truth. But we also know that God is love. That's right, God is love. And which means that, hmm, that this truth is a loving truth. And so if we are led to this decision that will be truthful, it must also be loving. That is right. So when we are confused, we should see whether how much love there is in this truth that we're making. Hmm. So between keeping silent and protecting yourself or to speak out for an innocent friend, I think, Joy, you know the answer. Yes, Joy, you know the answer. And we're all here praying with you that the power of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit will be with you always. Wow, thanks so much for that, Jerry. I can't believe Friar Derek took the time to do that for me. Oh yeah, he was so nice to do that. I hope it helped. It did. Tomorrow, I'm going with my friend Lillian to tell the teacher and tell her what's happening. And I'm going to ask her for help. Hmm. I think you made the right choice, Joy. You may feel scared, but I'm sure your teachers will ensure that you're safe and your friends will support you too. You know, I just have to act with love instead of fear. Because that's what Jesus did. Even he was scared when he died for us. But he did it anyways because he loved us. I'm glad you figured it out, Joy. All it took was a priest and a puppet. What's the truth? It's Jesus! What's the truth? It's Jesus! His love, love, love is the proof. What's the truth? It's Jesus. What's the truth? It's Jesus. He's the truth. And his love, love, love is the proof. That's right. Whenever you get confused, search for the love, and the truth will be nearby. And listen out for more about the spirit of truth in the gospel when you attend Mass this weekend. Thanks for coming on this adventure with us. See you next week. Love of God.